Hi everyone, so I just got back from PBQ Utah, which was that speed cubing competition in Sandy, Utah that I said I was going to go to. And I met a lot of cool speed cubers. I also met Lily, who was indeed wearing a red t-shirt. So thanks for the commitment, Lily. Um, I know this isn't red, but you get the idea. And I just wanna talk about how it went, as well as spill a secret of mine that I haven't told anyone publicly, but I figured I might as well tell you. So the secret is, my goal was to become the first person, as far as I can tell, to have both a silver play button on YouTube and silver membership with the WCA. So that means I need 100,000 subscribers, I already hit that. And I need um, to have a single and average in every event. And as of two months ago, I had everything except for clock single and average, four blind mean, and FMC mean. And if you know anything about cubing, you know the hardest part about those four is four blind mean. Well, today I got it, and I'll show you a screenshot here. But also, I got first in way more events than I thought I could, because of, like I've only ever gotten first in an event once in my life, and I think that's because California is way more competitive than Utah. It was not easy, right? Like, I think Samuel Baird, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I'm gonna guess it's Baird. We're about the same speed in three blind, and I knew it was gonna come close. But in the end, I think I got a 57 single in three blind finals, and he got a 56, but it was off by a two corner twist. So uh, that was a DNF, and oh, that's so sad. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, that sounds sarcastic, but I, I really think that is quite a pity. Um, a shame that that happened. It's so weird for me to think that I won a competition because um, usually 3x3 three three is the main event that determines the winner of a competition and I'm not very good at sighted events so I usually come in like 30th place or something and the people who win the whole competition are people who average seven seconds at 3x3 three three. so uh, like I never had a chance and the only reason I came to this competition was because I wanted to get the four blind mean which I got by going safe because I averaged like 430 but I got a 645 mean whatever I had not practiced three blind at all so that was just a bonus that came on the side uh, but I did not get silver membership today because I failed the hardest event. I DNF'd FMC, right? Okay, I know. You get an hour to write a valid solution to a scramble. Not that hard, right? Well, one of the three attempts I DNF'd because I panicked while I was trying to find an insertion for an edge three cycle. And like, I'm not very good with inserting edge cycles because I'm not used to the M's and the like S's and E moves not actually being M's. You have to like rewrite it as U D prime or something. So I didn't do that right and I kept panicking because I I was ending up with scrambled cubes at the end of my solutions. So I just turned in a DNF and yeah, so that's too bad. But I guess I'll go to another competition in two weeks down in LA or something that has FMC and I'll get that all resolved. Yeah, so what I was going to say is it's so weird for me to think that I have footage of the winning of me doing the winning solve. Okay, that sounds so arrogant. You know, I didn't deserve it. Uh, but yeah, I, I figured I filmed it, so I might as well show it, and I might as well show the end of the four blind mean solves as well. And also, video credit to Lily who recorded the, the, the award ceremony, I suppose. Actually, that's pretty boring, so I'm not going to show you the other two. 5 I mean, 5 oh. oh. And Carrie Bone took first place with a 57-13 single. <laughs>